97.9 Dog FM, Jimmy Post, Gold Band, and Take a Ride. It is 8-11. Dylan Black, my name, two and a half months back. He went in for a major surgery. And, well, he's here to talk about it this morning uh, by phone. Legendary uh, newscaster right here in the nation's capital, Max Keeping. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Good morning and happy new year, Dylan. Happy new year. Now, two and a half months back, uh, we haven't had a chance to t- talk on the air since... This all happened. If we... October 15th. Mm-hmm. Now, can we talk about that day? Uh... It, uh, it was an amazing day. Uh, 7.30 in the morning, they wheeled me into uh, into the operating room. And 12 and a half hours later, they uh, wheeled me out. And uh, I had uh, I, I'd lost half my body and had a, had a new body. And uh, since then, I've, uh, I've done quite well. I placed my hands, placed my life in the hands of God and a couple of rock star uh, surgeons. Uh, and uh, they did an amazing job at uh, removing, hopefully, all of the cancer that uh, had affected my uh, my rectum. I lost my rectum, my anus, uh, my bladder, and my prostate. Uh, that that part of the pelvic uh, section was uh, was filled up with with uh, with fat and muscle from other parts of my body, and then I was given uh, two ostomies, uh, which uh, which are are done by uh, by by working with the uh, the bowel and one of the intestines, and provides two openings in the in the front of my body so that I have a, a colostomy bag and uh, and a urostomy bag. Uh, that's uh, now how I get rid of my body waste, and I'm learning to live with that. I have uh, a, a, re- a reshaped butt. Six months from now, I may I may have uh, one of the tightest, cutest little butts that anybody might see. <laughs> okay, uh, sure. Uh, lots, lot, lot, lots, lots of the nurses said that uh, they, they would almost kill to have the reshaped uh, <laughs> that butt that I have. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, I hope that's descriptive enough and. Uh, and now, now, Bill and I, I've begun like, the process of treatment. But I, I just want to put that into in, into into some context, though. Every seven minutes today, and every day, a Canadian is told they have cancer, and two hundred Canadians will die today of cancer. So when 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 you know you flatter me by asking me to give you a report on how I'm doing, I I I I, I really do feel how fortunate I am that. Uh, that I've had, you know, one of the highest risk surgeries there is uh, for colorectal cancer. That the surgery appears to be successful. Uh, the six months of uh, of chemo and radiation that I'm, uh, that I'm undertaking now is to uh, kill any any cells that may have uh, escaped from that pelvic area before the surgery began uh, to kill or at least stop. Uh, but you know, there are so many of your listeners. Uh, who 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 are on this cancer journey, and uh, I, I want all of us to offer that kind of support and and and, and uh, you know the 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 the, the the community hug, the community support that I've had to uh, to everyone out there who's uh, who's facing those challenges today. Mm-hmm. Now, can we ask you though what the road ahead is? I guess the the recovery isn't as quick as well, the. I've I've heard the expression before. You know that. Uh, the treatment is sometimes worse than the disease. Uh, six months of chemo and radiation. There's five weeks of radiation. Uh, that's that's in the six month process, as well as uh, the, uh, the chemo that uh, that I'm going to be doing. That uh, that has sometimes uh, with, with some people pretty pretty horrible side effects. But it's the it's the only only way to try and and kill any any cancer cells that may that may be riding around in the other parts of my body. Mm-hmm. So I, I just uh, I've rescheduled my my weekend of uh, of dancing uh, until late June or early July. Okay, I could walk after six after six weeks. I figure I can dance after six months. Mm, we're looking forward to that celebration for sure. It's going to so, be big. Uh, I, I thank everybody for her uh, amazing support. That, uh, that I've received, and, uh, and and I wish every other cancer patient who's out there today, and the families around them. One of the things that certainly well within me now is how important it is that somebody on on uh, on this journey do know that they that they have incredible support, uh, and and I can certainly, uh, with great humility, uh, say my family and friends and and the greater community have been just just so amazing in how they've supported me. Well, Max Keeping, we can't thank you enough for the inspiration. 
Well, uh, the inspiration, uh, I'll be listening to John Allaire when he comes and, uh, and performs with you in a little while. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, Max, we're looking forward to uh, getting some more updates uh, from you. Of course, uh, Dog FM here and uh, the family uh, wish you all the best as uh, you recover. And, you know, the NHL may be back. And if I've got to, if I've got to be homesick, uh, having uh, the Senators to watch will be terrific, too. Yes, it would be. Max, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Have a good day, my friend. And, and you, too. Uh, rock on.